Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Ferlici Friday. We were supposed to have a ton of snow, like five to eight inches, and I don't think it's gonna happen quite like they predicted, at least like fingers crossed. A couple inches is all right, five to eight is a lot. Don't want anything like they have out in California either. So yes, but we are not even gonna worry about the weather because we are playing in our craft rooms today, having some fun with, hello, Miss Luann, thanks for joining us. We're gonna play with the Easter Bunny bundle today. So we are getting ready for Easter. So look at this, such a cute stamp set. Love it, love it, love it. And then there's a punch that goes with it too, with a little Easter Bunny punch. So um, let's see, we've got sentiments. Of course, there's a happy Easter, an Easter treat for you, those cute little eggs. I have actually, I need to play with those. I wanted to stamp those on um, my projects and I ended up not doing that, but they're so cute. I've seen lots of fun, like bright colors, um, you know, coloring those eggs too, which is always a fun Easter tradition, right? We've got a high sentiment. Um, Let's see, it's a new day. What else? Enjoy all the little moments. Um, you're a friend like no other. And then a bunch of, look at all those super cute little Easter bunny images. Hi, Bonnie, thanks for sharing. Uh, six to 12 inches for you guys. Yeah, I think you're a little bit further south. That's that's my hope anyway, is that we're like just on the edge and maybe missing all that crazy snow. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we're not even worrying about the weather because we've got some fun things to play with today in that Easter Bunny bundle. And lots and lots of great things to tell you guys about. There's like a lot going on. My list feels like it's like, wow, we've got a lot, a lot to tell you guys about. So first of all, Stampin' Up! announced, and it's so funny, they're like teasing and teasing and teasing. So when did they announce? Like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Hello, Miss Trish, that Stampin' Up! is doing a, well, how did they put it? I can't remember exactly, but it was like, we've got an announcement about our, like our colors. And so we were supposed to check back on March 1st. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, we haven't done a color refresh. I don't know, maybe in five or six years. It's been a little while. So I'm like, okay, that's probably what's happening. Um, and so I was thinking we were gonna get news about like what color refresh and like what colors might be retiring. Sometimes they'll bring old in colors back in as core colors. They might make some brand new colors. It's always like a fun time to see like what new colors we might have available to play with. So anyway, I thought we were gonna get that information on March 1st. And instead they're like, like I said, teasing, teasing, teasing. They're like, hey, guess what? We are doing a color renovation, but now check back on March 20th. 29th and we'll actually tell you what's going on. So they continue to tease us basically. What I do know, well, I guess I shouldn't even totally say that. What I what I kind of sort of know is these five in colors are retiring. Now there's a chance maybe one of them sticks around um, as a core color. So I can't even say that I know for sure that these are totally going away. But I would right now assume and plan that these colors are all retiring. So we've got polished pink, Evening evergreen, um, right? Even, I, I called it the wrong color last week <laughs> or the, on our last Facebook Live, but yes, evening evergreen, pale papaya, soft succulent, and fresh freesia. And I love these colors, so I'm super sad that they are retiring. Um, like I said, there's a chance they might not, but uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like waffling. What do I tell you guys? I would say right now they're retiring. If you love these colors, make sure you get your cardstock, your ink refill for your ink pad. The ribbon is beautiful. We're going to use pale papaya ribbon today. So I'll remind you guys about that beautiful ribbon. Um, anyway, get everything that you can, that you want out of those in colors, order them now, just in case, because most of them are going to retire. I'm sure if you know, I would be shocked if more than one or two of them carry over. So keep that in mind. But color refresh also basically means it's kind of like up for grabs. We have no idea what colors are carrying over and what cover what what core colors like out of our brights, regals, subtles, and neutrals, what of those colors are going to be retiring. The friends of mine and I that um, did the Craftorama a couple weeks ago, we all have our predictions. We actually kind of have a little inside girls Craftorama bet on which colors are going to be retiring. And we thought we were gonna be able to like find out who won the bet on Wednesday, when uh, March 1st, when they, I thought they were gonna tell us about the color renovation. But so now we gotta wait till March 29th, but it's okay. But anyway, my greater point is, it's kind of up in the air. We don't know what colors are staying and what colors are retiring. So now's the time, do it now before March 29th when they announce 
what colors are truly retiring because then those are the ones that sell out like crazy so if you have favorite colors get what you need like i said cardstock ink pads ink refills ribbon markers blends embellishments any of those things get them while you can okay and i'll keep you posted as soon as i know i will share that information with you guys also which i think like i said was march 29th oh oh severe wind so snow is closed huh a day off from work yay that's awesome yes that's very very cool trish i'm glad you have the day off um sorry about the weather though um yeah i feel like it's just kind of crazy all around the country right now isn't it um what else do i want to tell you guys about oh next one day retreat is actually planned and i think i i'm trying to remember on the last facebook live but i had to change the date, and i'm so sorry i hope that didn't mix up too many people's plans but the one day crafting retreat right here in alma is going to be on saturday april 29th from 9 a.m to 9 p.m this is like the most fun day where i spoil you with food and little table treats like basically like gifts throughout the day um lots of snacks um like i said i feed you really well we have um let's see what do we have a um goodie bag valued at over 30 dollars that you get um that day when you come to the event um <clears throat> Oh, that's awesome, Bonnie. I'm glad you got what you wanted from the um, retiring ink colors. Yeah, very good idea to just do that and then you don't have to worry about, because um, like I said, when those things are announced, they just go, go, go like hotcakes. So yeah, like I said, and again, the other colors, we don't know which ones are going to retire. So whatever you love, just make sure you get what you can while you can. Okay. So yeah, so back to the one day retreat. So goodie bag. I love to feature um, product from the goodie bags in our make and takes um, so that you can see how you can use and play with the products in the goodie bags. There's a buy one, get one free sale. You basically bring whatever you want to come and craft for the day. And then you've got your make and takes that you can do throughout the day also. And just kind of spend um, like quiet crafting time with your friends for the day. So if you are interested, it's $64 for the day. It's right here in Alma. Um, let's see, RSVPs are due no later than April 17th, but if you sign up and prepay by March 24th, you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. So love to have you join us at the one day crafting retreat. Um, oh, I think, let's see, I'm like my, my notes say it's time to draw, hello, Miss Debbie, for our first uh, Facebook live drawing which is for these are again the in color so these are an embellishment that would definitely be retiring because not all those colors I would be shocked if all those colors carry over even though it would be fabulous because we love these in colors right so in color opal rounds this is what we're going to draw right now for your name is in here if you shared the last Facebook live video if you shared my class to go kit post make sure I post those every week right here on our Facebook group if you share those as well your name goes in here and then also if if you are new to the email list if you just sign up for um, our gathering inspiration stamp studio email list your name is in here also so all right I'm gonna shake these babies around and draw one lucky winner of those beautiful in color opal rounds miss Diane Kreitz all right congratulations Diane I will put these little babies out on the porch for you so hi Debbie thanks for watching and sharing I appreciate that all right, we have a couple of drawings to do today. So let me get that. I got that basket all emptied, yes? Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, these are the iridescent rhinestones, still some of my absolute favorite. These have, are kind of an oldie but a goodie, so I wonder if they wouldn't be retiring with our next annual catalog. Um, I'm assuming, so when we do the color renovation um, information, I think we're getting the retiring list at the end of March also, so just keep that in mind. You guys know that though, right? That the mini catalog and the annual catalog are both um, ending on, I think it's actually May, May 2nd, just say the end of April, just to be safe. So then the next catalog will start the beginning of May. Um, but those, those two catalogs, annual catalog and mini catalog, lots of products will be retiring. Some things will carry over into our next annual catalog and we'll have lots of new stuff in there too. Um, but in the meantime, I, I don't know, we'll see. These have carried over for a bit. So hopefully they continue to stick around. But in the meantime, if you share this Facebook live video right here, if you um, share the class to go kit, which is the sweet citrus super duper cute cards in there i'm going to show you guys those in just a little bit or if you sign up for my email list we will draw um, for the iridescent rhinestone gems on our next facebook live okay i'm trying to keep my table clean here so i 
because there's so much here to share with you guys. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I know what I want to show you guys now. So <clears throat> when did we have that? Our um, Inspired Stampers team meeting, we do the third Tuesday of every month. So it was actually um, February 21st, which was actually only like a week and a half ago. February kind of flew by and now it feels like a while ago, but it wasn't that long ago that we had our team meeting. So I always love to share the make and takes that we had at our team meeting. Now these feature, and I'm drawing a blank on the, you know what, maybe I can pull it up. Hold on, let me see, because we used one of the Memories and More card kits, which is such a great idea because basically it's like designer series paper in these little <clears throat> three by four and four by six. Let's see, it's called the Enjoy the Adventure Memories and More card pack on page 73 in our mini catalog. So I'm just gonna pull this up so you guys can see. So <clears throat> as I was explaining at our team meeting on our Facebook Live, these memories and more card kits. So here, this is kind of an example of the card kit right here. So you get a bunch of three by four and four by six cards. You get some stickers. Um, and then actually there's a coordinating card pack and envelope kit that you can um, purchase to make your cards. I just used, and for the most part, I used um, thick basic white cardstock for my card bases. But, so you can make cards out of this card kit. I'll show you those in just a sec. But the original kind of intention was this memory keeping. That's why I, they call it the memories and more. So we have these little um, photo books and then they have these pocket pages that the four by six cards fit in, the three by four cards fit in, and then obviously your pictures. You can cut them down to three by four or you can use big ones at four by six. So it's a great kind of like quick, easy scrapbooking um, idea. I have used these Memories and More kits for all of our Stampin' Up! trips that we have been on. So I have these beautiful, fabulous um, books, basically scrapbooks with each of our trips in them. Um, and so they kind of make a nice kind of coordinating theme throughout. So, you know, for each of the trips, we've got kind of a general theme. And I love to pick kits that kind of remind me of the place that we were to, um, like for example, the um, our Maui trip that we did um, like two years ago, we had some beautiful kind of super tropical card kits um, or card kit theme, I guess. So I used those on our Maui trip and they were beautiful and perfect and kind of coordinated just wonderfully with the pictures that we had from the trip. So anyway, so yes, memories and more card pack. So you can make cards and actually they do show. So right here, they show you here, you can make cards with them also. So let me give you an example right here. We've got this one. <clears throat> so this is a card from the card kit. And then this actually, this one kind of going this way is a three by four. And this is a three by four. We just added some vellum, some of the balmy blue and white variegated ribbon, and then put it on a piece of thick basic white cardstock. So same idea here. We also used some of that Dandy Designs designer series paper, some of that celebration paper because it coordinated perfectly. Here's another card. Um, and then actually that's one of the little stickers right there. Um, here is another one. This was a four by six card that we cut down, mounted it on a pad, black piece of card stack, and then on a petal pink card base right there. This is a cute one too. The hello, 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 the little butterfly we added from the stickers. We actually used some milky dots and then more of that variegated ribbon. And then this one's cute too, isn't it? So this is another card from the card pack. This is another one, one four by six that we just cut down to fit on our card front and then some stickers and some ribbon and some more milky dots. And then lastly, one more little doggy guy there. That's a sticker um, card from the card kit, another sticker, and then that's some more of that Dandy Designs designer series paper. So super cute, simple, easy. And these are like great layouts that you can use with any of the cards in the card kit, right? So you could make, you know, you could um, get any of our card kits and kind of use these layouts with any of those as well too. So great little idea there in terms of quick, easy, simple card making. They make a great gift too, because everything's all kind of coordinated. So you could make a pack of probably like 20, 20 plus cards, I would say, with the cards um, and then, you know, put them in a cute bag or box or something as a great gift for someone. So um, let's see, oh, what else? I wanna show you guys the swaps. These were our team meeting swaps. 
So we've got this fun little, and I thought this was a cute use of, this was that um, tag punch that was um, also available during celebration. And then um, some more of that designer series paper. This is a fun one right here. How about this one um, with um, the little, what is that, the shamrock, right? So a little um, St. Patrick's Day that's coming up very soon, right? Then we have a little gnome card. Isn't he so cute? And this one says, I love that we are friends. How sweet, right? And then how about this one right here? We've got the happy, happy, happy birthday. And then there's the inside, wishing you all the wishes, right? Very cute, right? So lots of cute swaps. We also, so all this from our team meeting too, guys. So if you're interested in becoming an Inkspired Stamper, you can do swaps. You can, even if you're long distance, you can mail the swaps to me. I trade them out with everybody and mail them back to you. You can get the make and takes mailed to you every single month. And then you also can participate. This is a fun little mystery project that we do. So on our Facebook Live on our team meeting, we will, I kind of post all the measurements, um, and but don't actually show you the card. So it's like, ooh, what are we gonna make, right? So I kind of, it's like a tease again, right? Where I tell you, um, cut all these paces, bring all of this stuff. Hello, Miss Sheila, welcome. And then we actually put the cards together um, during our mystery project stamping time. So this was the little card that I made for our mystery project. And it was fun to see because, um, you know, people didn't know what designer series paper, like I just say, pick some designer series paper, pick a card base that matches, and then um, put your card together. And it's, so it's so fun to see what other people came up with, um, with the instructions that I gave them too. So Sheila, I hope you're doing well down in Florida. We miss you up here in cold, dreary Michigan. <laughs> I'm sure you don't miss that at all, do you, right? <laughs> so then lastly, I also love to reward our, so our top five sellers each month, I send them a little card just to say congratulations, you were in our top five for the month. So this was the card that I sent to everyone with that cute little spring is everywhere sentiment on it. Write a little note inside and if they sell over $600, I also give a $600 club prize. So this is every month if you sell over $600. You get a little prize from me. You also get additional commission from Stampin' Up. That's why I like to highlight that. So that, because especially if somebody's at like $550 in sales, put another $50 order in and then you get free money from Stampin' Up, which essentially helps cover that $50 order. Plus you get a free embellishment embellishment for me, which this month were the pastel pearls. So great to be a part of the Inkspired Stampers team if you have any questions. Uh, the starter kit deal is always awesome. They'll have another deal coming up, I'm sure, soon enough anyway. But as always, the regular deal is pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. So it's always a great deal. Plus you get your 20% discount on everything you order after that, right? So that's why we do it is to get that discount and just happy shopping along the way, right? So yeah, that, we had a great time at our team meeting and would love to have you join our team as well and be a part of our team meetings on Facebook Live if you're long distance or come join us if you're local and you want to come hang out with us. The third Tuesday of every month is our team meetings. <clears throat> All right, we are cruising along because I still have so much to tell you guys about. So we have, <clears throat> I think I was, I was mentioning, right? Celebration, celebration was is an event if you qualified during celebration this is how you could qualify if you hosted a private party or class if you purchased the starter kit or if you spent at least 150 dollars with me during celebration which was january and february so i want to announce the winners the people that earned their spot at the celebration celebration event i will also love to mention that if you are long distance um, I will make your make and takes. I will put your treats together. I'll send you the prizes, everything that people get uh, locally for coming to the event. I will mail all of that to you as a thank you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business uh, during celebration. So here are our lucky um, entries into the celebration celebration event. Now I will also mention it is going to be on Saturday, March 18th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church where I hold all of my events, okay? So congratulations to Rose Castellan, Lori Cresswell, Sherry, Cheryl Hall, Teresa Hinchman, Denise Ledbetter, Deb Northrup, Heidi Sue Parsons-Moore, Monica Talbot, Roseanne Lafreniere, Diane Kreitz, Linda Foster, Elsie Lynch, Danielle Aker, Ashley Cranford, Kathy Hilliard, and Linda Danis, all 
are going to be joining us at the Celebration Celebration event. So congratulations, ladies, and we're excited to see you at that event. Um, oh, okay, now, okay, I'm like just rolling, 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 because we are going to do, let me make sure, where are my names? Um, oh, they're over here. Okay, so hold on, I got to get my names in the drawing. <clears throat> okay, I had them all written out, but I didn't fold them up because... I needed to make sure, I don't know why. I think I worry that when I fold them up, then they go flying all over the place. So I got this little stack here that I gotta throw the names in the basket. We are gonna do our drawing for my Scenic Garden stamp sets. Now I have five of these Scenic Garden stamp sets to give away, okay? Isn't this, it's just beautiful, right? So this was um, a stamp set you could only get during celebration. I accumulated a number of them. Like I said, I have five of these stamp sets to give away. So we are gonna draw five names right here out of this basket. Now, how did you get your name in here, right? So I've been advertising about that um, on our Facebook Live group. You got your name in this basket right here if you bought the starter kit through me during celebration or if you spent at least $100 in February, your name is in here also. Okay, so in addition to probably qualifying for Celebration Celebration, five lucky people are also going to get these Scenic Garden stamp sets. Okay, so I gotta make sure I only draw five, okay? You guys can help me, right? <laughs> That's my like big fear is that I draw like six names or something. Okay, so first one is, oh, Diane, lucky. This is Diane's lucky day. So Diane Kreitz is our first winner of the scenic garden stamp set okay next Keep shaking these around we have let's see i got yep one in my hand we have ah oh, lori cresswell is number two all right three more to go okay let's see we have miss kathy hilliard all right congratulations kathy all right two more left to give away these scenic garden stamp sets this beautiful stamp set, right? Ah, oh, Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations. And last, last winner is, okay, shaking them all around. I got one in my hand, Miss Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. All right, congratulations. Those are the five winners of the beautiful Scenic Garden stamp set. Be excited to get that sent out to you guys. So congratulations, ladies. I will... Um, get those sent out to you. So thank you very much again for your support. Truly appreciate everyone's support um, of my Stampin' Up! business. That's that's why we're here and that's why we're doing what we're doing, right? Is to enjoy and play and have a great time and say thank you for your support. So, okay, getting the names. I got one more drawing. We'll do that in just a couple minutes. Um, let me see what else we've got going on. Let me scoot those over there, right? Okay, so what's up next, ladies? What's up, what's up? Oh, okay, so that's right. So I have something fun to share with you guys. On March 15th, I will be celebrating my 15 year anniversary with Stampin' Up. Now that, I actually have been kind of um, using Stampin' Up products for even, even longer than that, but officially March 15th is the day that I bought the starter kit 15 years ago. So we are gonna celebrate my 15 year anniversary on March 15th with another special promotion, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little frog in my throat. <laughs> Luann, wahoo! Luann, how many years have you been with Stampin' Up? I'm curious to know. You've been probably with them a while also. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's just like time has flown by too. I tell you what, um, best decision I ever made. Have loved sharing um, beautiful creations with you guys. 22 years! Oh my goodness, Luann, that is amazing. I figured it was it was longer than 15. Can, yeah, wahoo to you too. Oh my goodness, that is awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, so we are um, long timers, long standing Stampin' Up lovers, clearly. Um, and the things, they just keep getting better and better. We just have so much fun, great product to play with. And so I want to say thank you again for your support of my Stampin' Up! business over the last 15 years. 
by we i'm going to give away 15 handmade cards with every 50 dollars order between now and march 15th in addition to all the other facebook live freebies okay so awesome 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 i've got lots of now they're not necessarily going to be current cards i've got lots of cards in my stash so just know that i will be sending there'll be some current cards um you know with current product and some with product maybe you've never even seen before um because i've got quite a stash of cards and i thought you know what i might as we'll get them sent out to you all um, as kind of a celebration of the 15 year anniversary. So 15 free cards with your minimum $50 order through me along with all the other Facebook Live freebies, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on that, but I'm gonna be excited to be mailing those packages out to everyone and cleaning out my stash of cards a little bit too. I did that back at Christmas time and I think I, I, I gave away a ton of Christmas cards. So I'm gonna be excited to do that with these other all occasion cards as well. Um, okay, I think, let's see, we are, we're doing all right here. So um, reminder then, um, on our last Facebook Live, let me show you. These are the two cards that we made with that best day stamp set. Such cute, like fun, bright cards. And we use that, I think it's called the Flowers and More Designer Series Paper that's in the mini catalog, that beautiful host designer series paper. So if you ordered through me, uh, spent at least $50, you're gonna get both of these cards as a thank you from me. You also got to pick from either, this would have been the February Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or actually last month were the iridescent rhinestones. So they got to pick from pre-embellishment or the PDF tutorial. So I was gonna show these, these are the March pre-embellishment. I'll share that in just a sec, right? And your name is also in the drawing to win the covered sunshine, covered in sunshine stamp set. Such cute sentiments in here. <clears throat> like, I just can't tell you what a gift it is to call you my friend. It's funny, it's like hard to read that, but it's almost like a rainbow, right? But super duper cute. And I love this. It's almost for me that looks like that chalkboard writing, which I think is so cool. So may the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. Super cute, right? And it kind of like sing-songy too, right? May the dreams you hold dearest come true and the kindness that you share come back to you. That's a great sentiment too. So we're gonna draw right now, if you put an order in online through me of at least $50 using the host code, your name is in the drawing to win this covered in sunshine stamp set. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna draw one lucky winner and let's see the winner is miss kathy hilliard all right so kathy and diane have been super lucky winners so congratulations kathy you are the winner of the covered in sunshine stamp set so i will get that stamp set sent out to you okay let's see so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, I thought this would be very appropriate. If you order through me, right, you're gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a moment. You get to pick from the, this is the February, I haven't printed the March, but the March PDF tutorial, or your free embellishment, which are the milky dots for March, right? So one or the other of these. Your name is also in the drawing to win. This is the 2021, 2023 in color designer series paper. Again, let me fan these out for you guys so you can see all the pretty colors. Again, these are the retiring colors. Evening evergreen, polished pink, soft succulent, fresh freesia, and pale papaya. This is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live is this package of 2021-2023 in color designer series paper with your online orders. Okay, so let's see. All right, I think... Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, I, I did it. Okay, we're gonna flip the camera down. I have more to share with you guys, uh, but we're gonna do that. I'm gonna clear that off of there. Flipping, I think we're good. Let's see, let me grab the host code. We have a new host code for March. So I'm gonna put that, yep, okay, good. I do have the correct host code. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air and we'll show you more good stuff here. Okay. Yeah, like that's leaning a little bit. Let's do that. It's like I always think this is ready to go, and then I put the camera or the phone in, and things start to look funny. But okay, here's our host code for March the TC4JTHZV. Yep, ZV. I was like, did I say that right? Hmm. All right, had to grab a quick sip of water there. And 
what am I showing you guys now? I lost my list here. Okay, no, I know what we're doing. We are gonna talk about the Sweet Citrus Class To Go, which is, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, there's a whole group of kids walking by and Storm just realized they must have a half day today. My kids are all in college now, so I don't even know what the schedule is. Storm, it's just kids walking by, okay? All right, so here we go. Talking about the Sweet Citrus Clastigo. I'm gonna show you the four cards in this Clastigo. They are so stinking cute because, oh my, I have to show you guys this first because I just think this is the coolest darn thing ever. And, and like I said, I feel like maybe I missed it on previous um, <laughs> Um, sets like this where they have a stamp set and a die set and an embossing folder. So there, there's an example of the stamp that you can use. Then this is the coolest part right here. So this die fits right in and it's actually got ridges so it kind of holds it in place. This I probably won't be able to get lined up. Well, I guess I can, right? But this is the idea. You put this in here, close that up. Every Actually, that looks really good, right? So when you run this through as an embossing folder, it embosses and it die cuts so that you come up with that kind of a look right there that looks so real, doesn't it? With the embossed and die cutting, so stinking cool. And like I said, I probably have missed it. We have had other hybrid combo things where you get the bundle with the stamp, the dies and the embossing folder. Probably never realized that you could actually do that die cutting and embossing at the same time. Kind of embarrassed to say, but I'm, I'm on board now. I get it now. So super duper cool, right? Okay, so here's the idea. We have these four cards. We've got this one. We've got the little like sending you a big squeeze enjoy the sweeter things in life and i love look at oh, all that texture and detail thanks a bunch with more little stamping and i used lots of like whenever i had an extra piece of designer series paper from the outside i put it on the inside kind of a fun little idea right and then have a zesty birthday with some more stamping and dsp on the inside so those are the four cards just super duper cute bright fun gorgeous summary time feeling cards, right? Okay, so option number one gets you the stamp set. Again, here are the sentiments. Enjoy the sweeter things in life. Have a zesty day. Sending you a big squeeze and thanks a bunch. You can see how these images fit right inside there and then stamp so perfectly. Isn't that cool, right? So this one, then this one creates this right here, right? Then we have the set of dies. The other cool thing is they give you two of each of these. So for example, you've got that stamp right there, stamp two of them, you can die cut them at the same time. You've got this leaf right there, two dies. You've got these flowers, one stamp, two dies. Oh, awesome, quick, simple. It makes like this kind of card, all I did was die cut two of those little things to create all of that on there. So it's really, that looks maybe more detailed, super simple to do all of that, okay? So stamp set dies, also the Sweet Citrus Hybrid Embossing Folder. Then what else do you get? Oh, a full package of the, this is the three twine combo pack. You get a full package of that. You also get a full package of the champagne rhinestones. In option number one, you actually get these rhinestones for free. And then, and this is gonna be another perfect timing, the Bright's Designer Series paper. You get a full package of this paper, which I'm sure will be retiring because a couple of those colors in there might, maybe, maybe are going away. I don't know, I guess we'll see, right? So all of that in option number one, one plus the PDF tutorial. It's $92 for option number one. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and dies and embossing folder, if you already have that bundle, you're going to get the DSP, you're going to get the rhinestones, you're going to get the twine, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those. I don't know if I said that before. You're going to make eight cards all together. And option number two, along with the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put them all together, $41 for option number two. Option number three is the PDF tutorial. You're gonna do everything on your own. You just wanna know how to do it. I give you item codes for everything that you need to order, colors, dimensions, everything that you need so that you can make these projects. Option number three, PDF tutorial is $15. If you are a current expired stamper, you actually get the PDF tutorial for free every single month any of my past tutorials as well. And then option number four is for my team. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces that they need with the DSP, the rhinestones, and the twine. They're gonna get the stamp set and dies and embossing folder on their own so they can use your their demonstrator discount. But those make and takes are just $15. So again, another great reason to join the Inkspired Stampers. Um, let's see. Oh, option number one and option number two have 
Um, an additional $10 shipping fee if you need it shipped to you. That's priority mail shipping with the tracking and insurance. And RSVPs are due by Friday, March 24th, and the kits will ship out no later than April 5th. Okay, so let me know. These cards are just so much fun. I'd love to get one of these kits sent out to you. Okay, scooting that out of the way. And, all right, I think let's do it, ladies. Here we go. Let me find my grid paper. Okay, this and this. <laughs> I have too many things. I say that every week though, don't I, right? Because there's just always so much fun to share with you guys. Okay, so you guys can see. Yes, we can see the corner. Okay, that's good. All right, <clears throat> so I was hot earlier and I slipped my slippers off. You guys maybe didn't even know, but now I got to take a moment and put them back on because my feet are freezing now. <laughs> I was running around trying to be ready for Facebook Live um, and I got all hot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. But now I'm cooling down, I guess. Okay, so here is our first project we are going to make again with the Easter Bunny stamp set and the Easter Bunny punch. So this is so cute, right? And what I neglected to show you was a swap from Sunday Ostrander. This is um, a swap that Sunday made for our team meeting. And I was like, oh, Sunday, that's going to end up on Facebook Live right there because I haven't done that card fold before. So she used some of that flowers and more designer series paper. And this super cute little die set, I can't even remember which one it is, but look at how cute. I think it's in the mini catalog. Cuts those little baby daisies out. And then she used some of the... Um, uh, butterflies on there too with that great sentiment the best is yet to come right love this color combination too with the um, uh, parakeet party and the orchid oasis right so super cute and I was like okay yep we're gonna have to make this card so that's Sunday's version in our swapping at our team meeting and then this is my version with um, kind of this Easter theme okay so let me show you. Oh, and actually, let me show you. Here's another swap. This was a swap um, and that I participated in, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago now at this point, but this was a cute little card that was made with um, that stamp set and the punch, actually, really the little Easter bunny punch, right? So I thought that was cute too. And then that little sentiment, enjoy all the little moments, right? That's from the Easter bunny stamp set too. So I had to share that with you guys also. Okay, so let's see. What all do we have? I've got lots of good stuff to pull out. Okay. And I know, actually, I'm going to have to do some cutting here. So, I, so I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get everything out because I know I'm going to need a little bit um, to do my thing here for you guys. But let's see. Well, we're, we're going to just, we're going to do it <laughs> and see. So I made these a little bit ago. And whenever I do that, like I think I made them like last week. Whenever I do that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get my brain back into <laughs> how I did this card. But I can do it. I know I can do it. Okay, so let's see. Actually, we're going to turn it this way so you guys can see. So this is, this was, right, a full sheet. This is petal pink cardstock, right, eight and a half by 11, all right? So we cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? Okay, then we scored it at two and one eighth and five and a half, okay? So this is the idea. It's like that kind of a fold, and then this is gonna fold back right here, okay? I'll show you guys that, right? So you've got, can you see? This and this marry up now. This is what I'm going to cut. I'm going to show you guys how we do that. It's a very simple to make that kind of diagonal cut. Uh, here is my paper trimmer. Just trying to make sure I had this. Okay. So um, we're going to set that over there just for a sec because what we need to do, and I need my glasses. Where did those go? Good. Right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are going to. What you have to do is measure um because we are going to cut so half of and you guys can see this right i hope half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth so we want to and let me check my notes here right yeah mark it four and a quarter inches yeah okay 
I'm like, okay, wait a minute. How did I do this? But this is easy, right? Okay, yeah, so here, four and a quarter inches, we're gonna mark. We're gonna just do a little tick mark right there at the two and one eighth. Then we're gonna cut from here to here and here to here, okay? So we're gonna do that with our paper trimmer right here. Okay, so what you do is you're gonna put this in here and you're gonna line up your score. Oops, you guys can't see that, can you? I wanted to make sure that was in view, right? Okay, so the score mark goes along the line and then this little tick mark that I just marked, which is essentially in the middle at the two and one eighth inch, okay? So we're gonna cut just like that. So from that tick mark up to that score line and you can move it if you need to, just hold it in place with your hand and then just trim, okay? Then we are going to do the same thing on this side. So now we're gonna go from this score mark down to the diagonal, which is gonna be in the same, actually I like to go up though, don't I? So here we go, sorry, oops. I'm gonna move that down there so it's not in my way, okay. So we are going to go from our score mark down to the corner right there. So we're gonna cut there also, okay? So there we go, there is our fold, just like that, okay? And those little dents are gonna get covered up by our designer series paper too, so that's not gonna be a problem at all. Okay, scoot that out of the way. All righty, so now we have the rest of our pieces that we are going to use, okay? So we have this square piece of petal pink cardstock that's gonna lay right on there. This one measures three inches by three inches. Then we have some pieces of design, excuse me, basic white cardstock. This is the one that goes right inside there. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Better late than never, right? Okay, so this one measures three and one eighth by four inches. That's going to go right inside there. Then we've got our designer series paper. One is going to go there and one is going to go there. And we have two of these pieces also measuring. So two, one, two, right? three and one eighth by four inches. Then we've got that little piece that's gonna go right there. And then this one measures two inches by four inches, right inside there, okay? Then we've got some other scrap pieces of basic white and soft succulent to do our die cutting. And then that little piece for um, the punch, right? Okay, so let's see. Actually, we'll just do, we'll do both of our, we'll do our stamping, right? So we've got, <laughs> I should move this out of the way here, right? So we've got our happy Easter right here and our little bunny right there. So let's grab. So we've got our bunny. So cute, right? Okay. So we're going to stamp our little bunny on this white piece right here. So nice, easy. Tap, tap, tap. You guys know that, right? I'm going to straight down, lift straight up. There we go. So cute, huh? Look at that sweet little Easter bunny, right? And then... We are going to stamp in mint macaron. You know what? I think I might have said soft succulent earlier. We are, this is petal pink and mint macaron. Those are the colors we're using on this card. If I said soft succulent earlier, I apologize. It's funny because I think I even was, as I was saying that, I'm like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> so, whoops. Sorry about that, ladies. Okay, so we can do, let's do our die cutting now. Let's get these guys out of the way. And we need these things here. Actually, you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna punch our little um, Easter bunny punch. So this, I'll show you this designer series paper after I punch this, right? Okay, so cute. So I love that. You can make, I mean, you don't have to do any stamping, right? Just make your little bunny right out of your designer series paper. So this paper is from, this is the Country Gingham 6x6 Designer Series paper. Featuring what are the colors in here? We have Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Petal Pink, that's where I came up with my color combo, and then Sweet Sorbet. So these are, so there's kind of the Sweet Sorbet and Petal Pink. And then on the back sides are Balmy Blue. We're gonna be able to show you guys if I pull it this way. We've got, and there are, a few different patterns, right, of balmy blue and mint macaron on that side also. So super cute, fun, like gingham, springy paper. And I love that petal pink. There's the back side with that mint macaron on it also. Okay, we'll just scoot that out of the way over here. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we've used our little bunny punch. We're good with that. Okay, so now we are gonna do our die cutting. We are going to use this label, love, 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 from the pretty, pretty, the pretty pillow box dies, okay? We're gonna use that 
that is for that happy Easter right there. And I will include item numbers, like this one is item number 156321. If you haven't ordered the pretty pillow box dies yet, they make this super cute little pillow box, right? We've got that awesome label, some pretty um, flowers, and then some other little detail that can go on the top of the little uh, pillow box. So great die set. Uh, but again, I'll include the colors, dimensions, item, product codes, everything that you need to order and recreate these products will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so let's see, actually, is this the right one? I'm using this two times, so that was why I was confused. Not that you guys really even knew that, right? But we're gonna use, these are from the um, layering circles dies. We're gonna use this scallop circle. And then, oh, where did that go? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, right here, okay, that's good. From the, these are the stylish shapes dies that are finally available to order again. We're gonna use that stitched circle right there. Okay, so let's do our die cutting and then we'll put our cute little Easter card together. All right. Scoot that up there, that goes there. And actually, I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> I'll explain. I'm like laughing. It's like an inside joke, but I'll explain in a little bit. Okay, we're going to actually put that over. So we've got that one there. We're going to do our mint macaron and our basic white. Okay, so we have our scallop edge circle and then our straight stitched edge. Mint macaron, basic white. Oops, and actually we should probably cut this one too, right? <laughs> this one would be helpful also. This is going to take a sec. It's being, it's flipping a little bit, I think. There, okay, we should be good with that. As long as that one stays, which I think it's going to. Alrighty, here we go. So such cute, like fun, springy cards when we're expecting all this crazy winter weather around here. Okay, actually we're gonna need that one over there, I believe, okay. So love the little stitched edge, so cute. I hope these don't retire. I still, I love these little scallop layers, right? And then this is so, I love this label too, right? And it's got the little stitching around it also. So cute, huh? Okay, there we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's make sure we got what we need here. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, I'm gonna scoot this guy out of the way. And we can put our Easter card together now. Okay, so this is what we're gonna end up with, and this is what we're starting with. So here, we'll just kind of add, as I have my pieces here. Okay, so we're gonna add our adhesive to our basic white circle onto, oops. So remember, if you don't press too hard, if that didn't line up quite where you wanted it to, you can always, peel that off and move it a little bit. Just don't press too hard. Okay, so your Easter bunny could be facing this way. Monica, hello, welcome, right? So there's a cute Easter bunny, right? You could do that way or that plaid too. They're both so cute, but we're gonna use this side because I think it works better with the other colors that we have going on there. Okay, so we're gonna add the little Easter bunny right there, okay? Now, let's see, uh, we're gonna cut, we'll finish that up in a sec. Let's add these things on the inside. So we're gonna add our basic white bunny piece. We are gonna add that one right here, okay. Next, okay, so here's sweet sorbet on one side, mint macaron on the other, so cute. And you can see all the different patterns, right, of the paper. Okay, so this one can go right here and it'll again, if I had those little dent marks from when I did my scoring, I probably could have moved the paper down a little bit further on my um, cutting and scoring, my trimmer, I guess I should say, and then that wouldn't have happened. So note to self for next time, right? Okay, and then we're gonna add one more. We've got this one here and here and here and here, right? And then we're gonna add that little, and it's just so cute how just kind of cutting that paper like that makes it look so different on the inside, right? So there we go, we've got this right here. And let's see, it's funny, I was like, did I put that there? But I did, now I see, 
<laughs> I, I thought maybe it jumped off the page, but nope, now I, now I see why I did that, right? We're gonna add a bunch of adhesive along here. And we did it on there because we don't wanna put it on here and end up with some on this side where we don't want adhesive, right? So we are gonna layer this little baby. Isn't this so cute? Sunday, thank you very much for this idea. Love, love, love it. Okay, now we are gonna add some adhesive to our circle with our bunny on it. And we're gonna add some embellishments. Now where did, oh, here it is. I just flung that away. I did kind of, when I did that, I even thought about that, like, ooh, she probably shouldn't fling that away like that. Uh, <laughs> Cause you might not find it later, but thankfully I did. Okay, so we're gonna add our little sentiment, put some mini dimensionals behind that, right? So this has to kind of tuck right down oops i think i've got one of the backings i don't want that in there <laughs> there okay there we go sorry my hand might be covering that up because you've got it you got to put it underneath otherwise um it'll get stuck and you won't be able to flip this thing like you want right okay there's that dimensional <laughs> you know how those always show like on your butt they always <laughs> you get up from your seat and you're like oh there's a dimensional backing on my butt <laughs> It happens, right? <laughs> and hopefully someone tells you that you have one on your butt, right? <laughs> okay, so now we are going to add, let's do our bow first. Okay, so this is one of our retiring, the, um, um, so actually this is pale papaya, because I was like, this isn't petal pink, but I thought it worked well enough because it's this, just that kind of beautiful, soft, pinky, papaya color, so pale papaya. The ribbon in all of our in colors is retiring, uh, I believe. Yep, I'm sure it is, right? They'll probably, if they do anything, maybe they'll come up with a new ribbon, but yes, or at least probably four out of five of the colors will retire. Um, if you guys weren't here earlier, we were talking about um, the color renovation. Stampin' Up! announced that they will be doing one. Um, well, they announced it a little bit ago, then on March 1st, which was Wednesday this week, they said, check back again on March 29th, and we'll actually tell you what's going on, what colors are retiring, what probably, so that's the fun thing too, what um, favorite ink colors from past years are gonna come back, who knows, right? That's always exciting too, those colors that you're missing, and then they're like, oh, hey, guess what? And you know what, I need this bow to be pretty small. I remember that when I put this on here that I, that's kind of big. So I wanna make him pretty tiny. Keep pulling on things here, we'll trim him off. Okay, let's see, so I got our little glue dot. And then there's that there. Okay, so yeah, that's a way too long, so we're gonna trim him down a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna do that just a touch more. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Get those little bits out of the way and okay oh those were the elegant oh no i haven't used these yet we are going to use the elegant faceted gems which these will probably retire also because they've been around for a while but there's kind of a white a petal pink and then um actually maybe clear i'd say clear petal pink and like a white or a vanilla there okay so we are going to add we have to give our bunny an eye so we're gonna put that one right there and then i used some of these kind of white ones and i just sprinkled them around like i love to do so we're just going to add a couple of these little babies that one and that one and then one more you could use the clear also oops i kind of made that fling around there right okay but there is our first project with the happy easter and the cute little easter bunny on the inside so 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 cute right okay <coughs> Oops, I'm flinging everything all over the place here. Oops, did I lose? That, does that happen to you guys? I'm like, oh no, I lost one of my little clear. There, put that right back on there and we're all good to go. Okay, all right. So we'll scoot these over here and I'm gonna share with you guys our next project. Which one do I wanna show you first? Okay, well, Becky, so Becky White, if you're watching, thank you. I'm glad you like that, Luann. All right, hold on. I need another sip of water. Mm. I can feel a little tickle in my throat coming. Probably going to have to grab a mint before it's all over, but we'll see if I can do it. So yes, when I think um, last Facebook Live, I shared all the little treats 
that all my um, my craftorama help friends made for us. So we always make a bunch of little treats for each other. And then this was the box that I had showed and Becky White had sent me a message saying, Amy, can you demonstrate? And you guys will notice I, there were um, chocolates in here, but they have disappeared. I don't know what happened to them, ladies. Uh, but yeah, she had asked me to demonstrate this cute little box. And so that's what we're gonna do now. Not this one exactly, this style, right? But I decided to make an Easter box instead. So you could put Easter candy inside, right? So you guys can kind of see that, right? The inside there. Yep, so that just opens. Um, still need to get some Easter candy. I'm kind of afraid to buy it, to be honest, ladies, because once it's in the house, um, only some of it makes it into the boxes. So <laughs> I'm refraining from buying that just yet since Easter's a little bit away still. Okay, so in the meantime, we are going to, I'm gonna show you how to like, score and cut this box, all right? And let's see, so I've got my, I gotta have my notes out here too, right? We are going to use our scoring plate here, okay? So I wanna make sure, yep, you guys can see that right here. Okay, so our piece of cardstock measures seven and seven eighths along the top by nine inches, okay? So seven and seven eighths by nine inches, a piece of mint macaron cardstock, okay? So along the seven and seven eighth inch, because, well here, you're gonna score it at a half an inch and at two and a half inches. Okay, then instead of trying to figure out how to score it down on this end, you're just gonna flip it around. And again, along the seven and seven eighths inch side, you're gonna score it at a half an inch and two and a half inches because you get into eighths down here and that's kind of annoying, right? So there we go. So half inch, two and a half inch, flip it around, half inch, two and a half inch. That's along the seven and seven eighths inch side. Then along the nine inch side, super simple. You're gonna score it at two four, six, and eight, okay? Now, I have this little example here, this one right here, that shows all the pieces that we're gonna cut off. Anything with an X is what we're gonna cut off, okay? So I'm gonna use this as my guide to make sure I do it properly, right? And I would kind of suggest that you guys maybe do a template like this also. In the meantime, though, we're gonna just uh, fold, oops, along all of our score lines, okay? So let's do that first, and then we'll do our cutting, okay? So what I would suggest is make sure you have it oriented the same way with the little one inch up at the top and then the two inch down at the bottom. Mm. But we're gonna actually do it like this, okay? Because that's gonna help me figure out what I, so I wanna cut off these pieces right here so we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these little guys. Oops. Okay, so these three little tabs right here, we're gonna cut off on that side. And then we also wanna get rid of this because this is the kind of the lid of our box. So we don't need these pieces right here. So we're gonna cut these off and we're gonna cut those off, okay? And then we're gonna do Actually, this little one right here, we're gonna cut that little guy off. So cut up to the score mark, and then along that little score mark, okay? So there's that one. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So let's just do this little baby right here also. So we're gonna cut that one off. I'm gonna cut that one off, oops. Okay, and then same idea over here. So we cut that little guy off there, now we're gonna cut these three off right here, okay? So we're just gonna cut all the way down right there, and then cut that one off there, okay? Now last, we just need to cut those two off, which are those two right there, okay? So we are going to cut right there, and right there, and there we go. So. That should be, right, we're missing those and those and those four right there. So I think we have our box template, okay? Now we need to do a little bit more cutting so we can actually fold this box up, okay? So now we are going to, 
Mm, let me make sure. So I've got this one that I started with. I almost don't want to show you guys this because this one didn't have the lid, but I think I'm going to need to because I want to make sure I <laughs> do this properly, right? Okay, so we're going to keep this little template. So now we need to cut along each of these things, okay? So we're going to cut here and here, and we're going to do that on all four sides, right? So we're going to cut right there and right there, okay? But now we only want like a half an inch wide piece right there and right there and right there. And these don't have to be exact. These are just gonna help us fold up inside the box, okay? So get rid of those. All right, so we're getting there, right? Now we are going to kind of angle the edges so that our box will close nicely. Okay, so we're gonna do that one there. We're gonna do that one there, and then this one here, and this one here, and then these two along here also. Okay, we're gonna do this one here, and that one there, and then two more. This one here, and this one here. And there we have, <laughs> oh, hi, Pam, that's so cute. I can't believe I caught you live. <laughs> I can't believe it either. I'm so glad to have you on here with us. I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so there's the basic idea, right? Now we can, we're actually not gonna put our box together yet. We are going to add our designer series paper. All right, let's see here. Let me get these, not those, okay. All right. See, I know I have this. I have this. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, where is my designer series paper? So it's always easier to embellish your box to add this designer series paper when it's flat than trying to add it when it's already put together as a box, right? Okay. So we have four pieces. This is, so there's the balmy blue on one side and the petal pink plaid on the other. All four of these pieces measure two and three quarters by one and seven eighth, right? Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and add those. Then we also have these two that are gonna go here and here, and these two both measure one and seven eighth by one and seven eighth, okay? So two of those there, four of those there. So let's just put all of those on, um, except we're not gonna do the one on the front yet because we actually have a magnet that we're gonna put inside there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We will add that one last, okay? So I'm gonna put one of those aside so I don't actually put adhesive on it yet, okay? All right, so here we go. We've got, I'm gonna add, oops, it's kind of flinging all over, right? Run it and tip it back, there we go. I'm gonna add it to these three also, All right? One, okay. Super sticky. I'm glad you like the box, Pam. Me too. Cute little, a cute little Easter box. <clears throat> you can give the card and put some Easter treats in the box and you would be all set. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. You know what else we need to do? And I think I'm gonna do that actually. I forgot this one step. So I'm glad I caught myself just in the nick of time. We are actually, because I was looking at that, like where do I not wanna put, this is the top of the box. Let me show you how this is gonna go together and it'll make a little more sense, right? Okay, so this is gonna come here, this is gonna come here, right? So these, are going like this, okay? So you guys can kind of see that. Anna, hello, right? So there is the box. Does that kind of work, right? And then these will actually kind of flap open. It's not staying together, obviously, since there's no um, adhesive. And then this and this come down here. But what I need to do, <laughs> that's hard. It's like hard to show you guys. I need to die cut this little bit right here with that scallop edge. So before I put any paper on, I want to um, die cut that right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, Miss Anna, that's the beauty, right? I always say of our Facebook Lives is that you can do that. You can watch it later. Okay, so let me show you. We are just going to, 
going to lay that down on there. Let me find my circles. Okay, so we want, this is the biggest scalloped circle, right? Now the thing is, you're going to lay it on here like this, but you obviously don't want to cut all that off. So I just want to run it through a little bit just so I can get this part scalloped right along here, okay? So you guys can see that, right? So we just got to be careful to not run it all the way through. You know what we can do though too, I think. Let's see, let's do that also. So I've got another piece. This is gonna be, ooh, these aren't sticking together, are they, right? Uh, yeah, we'll do that later actually. Forget that, Never mind. We'll do that in a sec. We'll do that one next, right? Okay, so we are just gonna cut. So you just have to kind of go just a little bit and if you had to come back and kind of trim it, you could, right? But we'll do a little check and make sure Yes, that worked perfectly, right? So I've got that little bit right there that I might need to trim off, but that's not a big deal, right? Okay. And then actually let's use, so I just have, these are one and a half by six inch, so just little strips, and I'm just going to cut that about in half, right? And I'm going to put these on here because what I want to do now is cut this little piece and that little piece that are going to go on the inside and outside, right? So I'm gonna just do, and you, actually you probably could have just done a full one, right? But no, I don't think you want to, because you want it, yeah, either way, I think you could. I have these little strips, so that's why we're using these strips. But you could have just cut a full one and then cut it in half. That would be another way to do it too. So either way, I think you'd be good. Um, and we're gonna do one more die cut while we are here because this little label, actually two of them, we're gonna do that label and that little heart. We're gonna die cut both of those too. Okay. Right, so let's see, we have, OMG, this is serious craft, crafter math. <laughs> Aftermath of crafting, right? Okay, so <laughs> there's just so much on here. I'm getting confused, ladies. Okay, so this label, love this die set. Again, the all that dies. Great set of, there's the circle, the oval, these little banners, uh, this rectangle, these cool little doodads. And then we're going to use this one right here on a piece of uh, sweet sorbet. I know I have those. I've been like moving stuff around too much. Here we go. Got these things right here, okay. So that. I need this gold. We're gonna use just a little piece of gold for the heart. We're gonna use one of these. Love these dies also. So many great dies, right? That little heart, you've got one, two, three, four different size hearts. These are the give it a world dies. Love all the doodads. We still have to make a, a spinny card. Oh, I gotta, gotta make myself a note about that because I seem to keep forgetting, but we will. One of these days we will do that, right? Okay, so we got that one there and that one there and the clear plate that I almost can't even see because it's still pretty new. All right, so let's die cut these babies, okay? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I have adhesive all over things and they keep kind of Hopefully that's off camera and you guys can't see. <laughs> they kind of keep getting stuck to things. Oh, love that little heart, right? So cute, okay? And then our label, and I love kind of the embossing that happens on there too, right? Okay, so we need that. These guys can go here. All right, let's just do all of this out of the way. And I think <laughs> we're getting close to being able to put things together here, ladies. So we are going to just kind of cut right along there to get that bit off. Okay, now we can add our adhesive or our, our designer series paper. So we're gonna add one little piece there. We're gonna add one little piece right there. Then we've got this one. Mm, nope, I don't wanna do, that's the one I'm gonna put the magnet on. I'll show you guys that in a moment, but we can do these right here, right? So that one, and then there is that one. Okay, so those are all good there. These are all scraps that we don't need, right? Okay, 
that is too. Okay, so now let's see, I think we can put the box together. So let's do that. I have my seal plus that we're going to use. So the idea is that we're gonna put adhesive on the back side of all of these, and then we're gonna fold this up like that, okay? So here we go, adding our adhesive. Okay, run it and tip it back, same idea. Okay, we're gonna fold this in and these in. Let's see, I think. Mm, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do one side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do one side and then the other, okay. So this one's gonna fold up there. And I think if you don't press too firmly, even with the seal plus, you could kind of pull it apart and move it if you needed to. So I'm kind of just doing it gently right now to make sure I have everything lined up. And yes, that looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna press very firmly on both sides there. Okay, so here is the basic idea for our box, right? So cute. Okay, so now the little trick with our, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna use my seal plus on this one because I don't want the magnet to peek out anywhere, okay? So I have my glue dots and my magnets are <laughs> sticking right to my scissors apparently, which is fine because then I don't lose them, right? Okay, so those, I have two right there. Okay, so we're just gonna take those. Okay, so now we're gonna pull one off. You can get these on Amazon. Okay, so we are going to put that right onto our glue dot, okay? Peel that off, okay? And we're gonna put that where we would like, okay? Now we are gonna add our adhesive over top of this piece, okay? Or add our designer series paper over top, okay? Now we need these little guys right here to go on this side and on this side, right? So obviously these are way too big. That's why I didn't even need as much as I had, right? Okay, so, but the thing is when I first, I first cut it exactly to the size that I needed and then I realized that my scallops weren't lining up. So that's why I decided to cut it bigger and then I can always just cut it off where I need to, okay? So I'm actually going to put some adhesive right on here and then I'm just gonna trim it is what I found was the easiest way because there's really no good way to um, try to line it up. See how it's kind of crooked? But you're gonna cut it and you won't even know that, right? Okay, so we're just going to go in and cut, yeah, I think we will use these. Just gonna cut right along here. And the fun part is, you know, even if it's not exact, you're not gonna notice because you've got so much else going on with this. And then same thing, this one, I will just run right along there. But actually you are going to need, because the other um, magnet is gonna go right inside there too. So what I found was easiest was to just lay that right on there. Now we are going to put a glue dot on this guy, okay, make sure your finger comes off, okay. Should not have put adhesive on there yet. <laughs> That'll be a thing to remember next time I show you guys this. So don't add adhesive until you're ready to actually put that on because the idea is that you want this to pick up the magnet, which isn't as easy to do now that <laughs> I have adhesive all over. And I think honestly, so you should be able to just eyeball this too. Because actually I kind of got, I kind of got um, a little indentation there. So we can put that on there and make sure. Yep, that's going to work just like that. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. So instead, add adhesive on this piece is probably the better way to go, right? So we're going to add a bunch of, we're going to use our seal plus again so that it sticks nicely. We're going to line that baby up. Okay, I'm gonna press very, very firmly. I'm just gonna fold out. This one, you want to cut a little bit further in so that it folds, okay? So when you're looking at this, you wanna kinda of get right down in there and cut that, okay? So that it'll fold nice and easy, okay? Look at, ooh, did you, just, did you guys kinda of hear that, right? How it just flips, sorry, I should move that out of the way, right? 
Okay, now we can kind of finish up our box, right? There's the little guy right there. Okay, so we're gonna add our sentiment and our bow and we are good to go. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals. Oh, I didn't do my stamping yet, did I? But that's right, we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so I've got that little label that's gonna go right on side there, okay? Now we are going to use our, this is the oval punch, right? Oh, maybe two of them. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but some type of oval punch. So we're going to put this one. Um, we're going to add some more dimensionals and we're going to put this one on. Oh, and I have to show you guys this paper too. This is the beautiful shimmer paper. Show you the different colors that it comes in, right? But so we have... There's a fresh freesia, a gold, and then a soft succulent. And isn't that so pretty? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, right? Okay, we need our soft, no, our mint macaron. I keep calling it soft succulent. Mint macaron ink, our stamp that says an Easter treat for you. Okay, stamp that. Then we are going to punch again with the maybe dual oval punch. Does that sound like the name of it? Possibly, right? We're going to punch that out. Add some adhesive on this little guy right here. Add our little heart that I also die cut earlier from that gold paper. Now we're going to add my favorite, my absolute favorite. These are the called the iridescent pastel gems. We're going to add one of the little champagne I don't know, champagne, gold, whatever color they're called. Champagne, balmy blue, and maybe calypso coral are my guesses. But I love, love, love. Those were our free embellishment from last month too. Can't get enough of those things. And then lastly, and I, <laughs> I was trying to find a ribbon that I liked and I realized, oh my gosh, I have, so I have this little, um, just a little, I don't know, a little doodad holder basically that I put like leftover ribbon in. So this was a little bit of ribbon that I have left over from the holiday catalog, which is, it's this gold and vanilla satin edged ribbon. So this ribbon right here that carried over. So you can still actually get that ribbon even out of the, um, even though we don't have the holiday catalog any longer. It is number 159555. If you love this ribbon, which I realize I'm like, oh, I need to order more of this, right? So I have this little strip of ribbon left here. Um, I just can't throw the ribbon out. Um, it's funny, even when I buy towels and things, you know how they'll like tie, tie the towels and bows and like, oh, maybe I could use that ribbon for something. You never know, right? My kids have kind of started to call me a hoarder, which I don't think I really am, but I guess some little things like that, you know, maybe I am a little bit. It's not too bad though, I promise. Okay, so we're just gonna trim that down and I think... Where's, where do we need a glue dot? That's what we need. Get a glue dot. Stormy just heard like a UPS or FedEx truck drive by the house and he thought maybe they were gonna stop here so he's gonna have to bark. But fortunately they kept on driving, I'm pretty sure. So there is our little Easter treat for you box, right? <laughs> That is awesome, Luann. You have 22 years worth of ribbon to get rid of. <laughs> Don't call it that. Don't get rid of it. Just use it, play with it, enjoy it, right? That is awesome. So you have lots of like retired in color and retired colors, right? From color refreshes. <laughs> that is awesome. Luann, I love that. All right. So ladies, here we go. If you put an online order through me of at least $50, you're going to get these projects that I demonstrated today. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win the In Color Designer Series paper. These are the retiring in colors. Don't forget, get your products while you can, right? And someone will win this paper with your order. You also get to pick from either the March Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Adhesive Back Gems. And don't forget, now through March 15th, in celebration of my 15-year anniversary with Stampin' Up!, you get an additional 15 free cards from me. So, so much good stuff. All right. Thank you, guys. I was very long-winded today, but that was fun, right? The box definitely took a little bit longer than I anticipated. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed all of the fun, the projects that we made today. Um, and yeah, have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you.